Okay. Yeah, your okay. not very good. Please have a seat, Chris. No, 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 you guys don't get to sit down. Christy and Mary have the seats. But... <laughs> We're not in closed well, yeah, session. Just, we need to do an open session. Thank you. Don't touch my stuff. Sometimes when you write tickets on those things, they forget about them because they're low. And then we have to go arrest them. Yeah. 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 Ye
final payment won't be made until the separate system is up and operating and no further payments will be made yes yes until we're satisfied with it they were vague no more payments you know that they will connect with some of the state systems well we need specific concrete answers so we need to get together with okay. the RFP okay. and all of that mm -hmm. and get the <laughs> Thank you. Mary, run, please. <laughs> you don't want to be here any longer. I'm going to say come to the side door for lunch because the front door will be locked. Okay. Come up. We'll oh, by your office, up, up on the administrative floor? Keep knocking to y'all open it. Well, we'll be upstairs eating. If I'm late, okay. I apologize in advance. We have plenty of people. Okay, what else we got? If he's late, I'll get to do part of it. Let's do a sheriff's budget discussion. Now we're ready. You know, just as a side note, out of 541 bookings a month, we were doing a percentage of people that were ROR before this program. So really what they're arguing about is what their take would be out of about four people. Why are we starting at 8.30 on the 12th? On what? What is it she wants to come in early on? There's no Donnell issue. Donnell's budget thing for the microfilm. Donnell just emailed me and said we'd like to meet the commission meeting about easy pay program. I'm willing to set That's the issue? Okay. Okay. I'm going to think about it. I'm not going to Jen. I want the county to not assess the she, property tax. You know, but she says a, they're going to give us a kiosk that we'll be able to put over in, the, in our facility that they will be able to access there. Something about a kiosk. It, it's a it's kiosk. one of the other courts that have used, and the bottoming goes directly into it. Uh, we can have all sorts of debates Probably about that thing. kind of stuff. I just invited you to. You the should just come on the radio show and let them. Let her rip, man. We probably should be arresting more people so the attorney's hey, got more uh, clients. Right? No, it's absolutely really not. Long. We should be arresting less people. I've, we should I've be issuing be, more, be more tickets. And uh, frankly, we should, be, we should be passing less laws. I get drill. I was being oh, off. I'm tired of it, man. You have to be at uh, least two seconds. I don't want to be in the with me. All right. Where you at, Dad? Hey, quit having fun. This is budget, not fun. Okay, so what do you have in front of you guys is the law, what we call the law enforcement financing strategy for 20 years spreadsheet, which you all, Greg, was, you, we were sent. So you can get an idea. This is the magic document that we work on. Um, and we're trying to get it to harmonize up. Um, if, as you can see, if you go down to line 47, Debbie, uh, that column that has 193.5 in it, just by reference, was at N. That's 2014. That's next budget year. You can see it's projecting right now a, op a operating deficit of 160. Um, which ba based on what? Based on the revenues coming in plus the transfer from GR, less all the expenses. And that's assuming that we were at the same as last year? It's not assuming you're the same as last year. That is basically the budget that Jim had, adding more health insurance costs and subtracting out the 3% of salary increases. Have you seen this with Jim before? Have you sat down with him before, Greg, and gone over? I haven't sat down with Jim on it at all. Okay. I don't think he's ever on it. So. No, he's not. So the, the, I think that the key for me on it is what what has to happen next year to get us through from your perspective well ideally you all would spend less next year than you spend this year what happens but that's not probably the most likely outcome since everybody's asking for a little more well what happens if we spend the same next year as we spent this year and we look for some opportunities like chris and i talked on looking at trying to do a digital antenna for local television uh, rather than as much with Mediacom and things like that. Uh, and that's not dramatic amounts, but it's some. You know, the, the, the trick to making this budget work, I, and it's just the biggest pain in the butt there is, it's almost going line by line, issue by issue, and figuring it out. Because 
I doubt, unless you know something off the top of my head, I doubt that there's a two hundred fifty or three hundred thousand dollars savings that just we can fix. But if we can find a few thousand here and a few thousand there and a few thousand there, eventually that adds up to the bigger numbers. And it's you know the spread. This spreadsheet is not perfect. Um, it does not mat tie dollar for dollar to this document, and that's the problem. Right, and and we don't know what the carry forward is actually going to be until the right. end of the year. I mean, there are right. there are vagaries in there that are difficult. Um, the ideal thing would be if actual 2013 could be budget 2014. That would that might fix it long term. I mean, that might actually fix it long term. With the change in health insurance. Yes. We can't do it. I mean, that's done. That's a done deal. The change in health insurance is a done deal. Okay. Uh, so, which, you know, looking at the numbers, I'm not sure that that's, we're that far off. But it does mean effectively not adding any positions um, and trying to figure out where the other increases in the budget are that we can not have. Not, ha not a happy place for anybody to be. Okay. But I, I think. If we can get actual 2013 to become budget 2014, we kind of played with it a little bit yesterday. Maybe we end up with fixing the equation. Maybe. If, what I would like to do, if it, if it suits you all, is I would like to leave and sit down with my command staff with that discussion. And, and, and I will get back with you all. And if you want to do it in commission, we can do it on the 12th next week. The, uh, yeah, I mean, and did you look at those two lines that we played with yesterday as far as administrative? Yeah. Just just two things are, well, you know, two big things. But 701 administrative and administration, it had a huge jump this year. And 704 jail it. services. I'll explain part of it in the admin. We went from 815, what we're assuming actual will be this year, to, eight, or to 991. 100 to 4,000 of that is the deficit we're taking there because my contingency is going to have to come down because of that deficit. And the other was a 71% or $71,000 increase in admin. And I can show you where they are in this budget up here. They are in this yellow. Basically, um, and I'll send this one to you. I'm not sure if I sent this one to you. Yeah, go ahead and send it to you. I mean, we'll just look at uh, equipment yeah, let's, let's just look at it now. I mean, okay. if, if you don't care, I mean, I don't want you to make a decision today. But well, it's, it, it's hard. I don't mind looking at it, but it's hard without talking. So right. I understand. What, what, but we, what we did about? leave 193.5 in there for cars. Cars and now is, is and that's capital out of your out of the law enforcement fund, not out of sales tax. Sales tax, the amount that we committed to vehicles and sales tax is nearly tapped out for the five-year cycle. Okay. I mean, and the goal has always been to try to get that back into the law enforcement fund. I mean... The, the, the initial talking about doing fleet management, and we've got some ideas, and, and, and I might have John address one of those with you anyway. And if we... if. But, but there's going to be a bump to get into it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Mark, you know, you and I have had long talks about it. And I, and I know that Jeff's been involved in past discussion, and Chris had a little bit with John on it. Um, and other than that, then it starts to level out. No, I, I mean, it's... But there's always going to be that, no matter how long we Everything, I mean, in all, all the programs, when it's capital cost, there's the upfront cost, and you pull the savings on the backside. Mm-hmm. Um, personnel is the opposite. Right. Personnel tends to look small on the front side, but it's the gift that keeps on giving because it never goes away. Chris, what, is, what did you want to look at in particular? You said two lines. Are you, Debbie was going to explain all yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to go to the jail. It's easier to explain. <laughs> this year, it's 505. We're not going to ROR you. What yeah. we think your total expenses are going to be, not including payroll. Okay. Non personnel. Well, non personnel. What, what we're asking for, what Jim has in there, is 579. So I went over to the spreadsheet that you guys saw, and the difference between what is budgeted, what is asking for for 2014, and what we think will be annualized, and this, these are the increases. So 
So you can see that, the, like the food, a 5% increase. You can see the medical is going up 19% based on actual to what you're asking for for 2014. The same way with drugs and medication, going up 23%. I mean, some of these are little amounts, um, but the, it adds up. On, on the ones that you just talked about, we, we really have little to no control. Uh, and, and, and doing what we're doing with the medication and, and going back several years you'll note that the first year that we, that we had them take over we had a $14,000 savings in medication prescriptions alone based on this, the system that they use with bubble packs so when a person leaves the medication is not being used goes back we get we get credited with that amount and, and it's worked out very good for us and this the medical company and the food service company were had both been and they've both been low on it from anybody else and they both delivered well for us. I, I don't know what to do to change that. Well, I mean, okay, for example, um, some of this is how we track things. Let me give you an example. Um, when you all made your presentation, mm -hmm. Victor, you said we're averaging 161 people in jail a day. That's average daily population. Correct. Over Book the year. Based on bookings. Based on bookings, right. not base but, case. But if we're... If we found that in the first seven months of the year we were averaging a higher number, and now we're averaging a lower number, and we think that that lower number average is going to be the, a more realistic number going forward, then what we spent on medical this year theoretically ought to be less next year, well, not more, indeed. because theoretically you're going to have fewer people. It's, it, it's, it's based on where you are in the numbers. And like if we stay down where we are, where we, we, we we, we don't get a break that we do if we're a little higher, and that sounds really odd, but th there's a break that comes beyond a certain point. And off the top of my head, I can't tell you what that is. The second, this, the, the second part of it is I expect bookings over the next few years to, to increase. I don't expect, with this program, I don't expect bed usage to right. have a dramatic increase. But that, that doesn't mean we're not processing but medical, that for example, medical, medical is more likely to entail people you have in bed space Absolutely. than bookings. Absolutely. Because aside from maybe it's, the two or three hours you're holding somebody till they're out, no, no, something. No, it's not two or three hours. It, it's usually uh, two or three days before they get to the point that they right. they get the process done, they get it to the courts, the courts have the uh, the bond hearing, and they move forward with it. And that, that process, I, I think they've speeded up as fast but, as they but can. But less, but, I mean, my point is, in all likelihood, that means less medical. It probably means less meals because it you're going to be you're going to have people in. Meals. Yeah. So, so there are there are numbers that we look at, and we say, okay, when you guys submitted your budget in August, right? You're based on where you're at in August. That's exactly right. You know, exactly we're in right. December now, and we have more data, right? Better data well, from a positive negative flow. I mean, the, the data is better now. And, and understanding that one thing we all knew, last year was our first full year of operation and then we had a partial year before that is that right no this is our, last year, year was our second, second full year, year. and you know, <laughs> so we're still yeah i mean that's and, and i wish i could tell you how that's well and be. and you know that's the the difficult part of the budget mm -hmm. is trying to figure out where we're actually at and where we're going mm -hmm. um and because there's no big margin for <coughs> error in here Mm -hmm. We have to be more precise than we've ever been before. Uh, if it turns out, you know, if at the end of this year you're at medical services of 160, which is what the projected number is, and you put in 201 and Jim gave you 190, and you figure that, well, that 160 was based on eight months right. at a much higher population, right. maybe we're at 130. Maybe we're not. But, but those are numbers that we have to really look at because, you know, and we're happy because the back. way the big yeah. master spreadsheet works, everything works off of the year before. Sure. So, you know, if we save a bunch of money this year, budget money, it's not real right. money, but, you know, you save a bunch of budget money this year, that triggers all the way through to the end of the spreadsheet. I mean, literally, Debbie, just do one thing real quick here. Watch. I mean, I'll show you the impact. I, I, I already did it. Basically, this spreadsheet is taking your um, take admin and put is. put admin at eight at eight fifteen. I can't change that back because that's the loss we're going to take this year. I did take the seventy some thousand out, and it does okay. Well, look at that. Just look at that. If you just take the seventy thousand out, it takes the bottom line from negative. 
two and a half million? Is that what it was? Yeah. Well, we started going in the negative. From, from negative 2.4 million to negative 700,000 10 years from now. I mean, that's how much impact $70,000 makes. We'll make now. And so we're, 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 that far, <laughs> we're looking far into the future here is what we're yes. looking at. Yeah. Right. And this has always been, you know, this is that, we've called it the dip years. That's always what we've been worried about is the dip years. Because 2013, we pay the jail off. Okay? 2013, we pay the jail off. The sales tax makes it... Excuse me, 2023. We pay the jail off. The sales tax, the sales tax makes its adjustment which actually provides net additional net revenue for the law enforcement fund right. that's available for that's how come if we can get to 2023 without being too far in the hole it works well with this three months of the program we're not necessarily opposed to reverting to the other figure but understand that if that if mid year we start seeing that there's a crisis, we are going to come back. And and we that's and that's why I say it's very difficult to get it exactly right. Let me give you another example we played with the other day. Mm -hmm. If we have big economic growth one year, we get one year. Right. Next year, if next year we get five percent sales tax growth, yeah. one year fixes the thing. Fixes it with surplus. I mean, it fixes it forever. Yeah, or even Assuming one percent next year. Well, no, assuming we get 5% next year and every year thereafter we just get 1%, it's fixed for infinity. Yeah. I mean, that's, I say, we're close. Well, that's how fragile we're the not, overall environment is, to be honest. We're just not getting 5%. Right well, now. let us, we'll go back and if Debbie can communicate some points to us on some specific areas, we'll look at it. There are some things we have minimal control. Uh, I mean, there's, there's certain right. percentage increases on contractual services that are agreed in the contracts. And they're still lower than the bids that other bids that had come before. Right. Um, and, 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 you know, the copy machine contracts, everything else that eats you alive. Uh, boy, amen to that. Mm -hmm. I was surprised we did get a one, one cent per plate across the board decrease in our food service contract that the company gave us without asking for um, two months good. ago. And I was like, when I first looked at it, a penny? Come on. You know, oh no, it's average to about a hundred and something dollars a month. That is not, I mean, a hundred yeah. something dollars a week. Yeah, that, a week, that yeah. doesn't seem like a lot. It's five, ten thousand dollars in a year. I mean, yep, that's, that's right. Real yeah. money. And, and so. those those pennies are the ones that we're we're trying yeah. with. keep working on. Well, I, I want to, you know. If we can help you guys out with something that you need, one-time expense, I'm open to that. Okay. One time. Um, you know, and, and just just so you understand where I'm at, you know, for every FTE that you guys employ, and for all your expenses that keep going up, that makes it harder every year to give everybody else a raise. Because, I mean, those personnel expenses goes up. Huge. Yeah, and so, you know, and I realize that one person can only do so much in a day. And <laughs> you know, but at the same time, you know, if we can watch, if we can watch a hundred, a hundred dollars on MediaCom a month or, or whatever it is, if we can watch those little things and we can really curb some of that spending, those things add up countywide. Right. And so then we're looking at maybe giving people a raise and absorbing health insurance this year. And so, but you know we can't well, we can't we'll, add a ton of people and, and also get everybody's salaries on, on these items with bullet points from Debbie. We we will work on it this afternoon. Well, it'll be tomorrow. I get the meeting this afternoon. But well, for some of us, and then uh, it was a shot across the Yes, sir. Now. I understand. The uh, and we will get back to you on the twelfth if that works for you all. Twelfth is great. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. Well, let, me, let me real quick. Hang on here. <laughs> Before we start saying absolutely, uh, we'll get together and start working on our side. And we'll see you see you see these are some questions that we have specific to you. That'll be the next. Uh, I can go on the twelfth until one thirty in the afternoon. Okay, I have. I, I, I can too, for what it's worth. I'm good. I, yeah. The twelfth. Yeah. I don't know. Just tell me when I'm here. Well, we're already sure here that day. Capital Plaza. Well, you can go. We're already here that day. I'm just saying. You can go longer. We can go longer on the 12th if we need to. Okay. We can go long on the 12th if we need to. we got a bit of an agenda, but we can plow. You know, we're committed. 
we're committed to making it work. Well, and, and Debbie, Debbie and I will, after we do some work, Debbie and I will sit down long enough to have it figured out so you'll have information to create. We're, we're committed to make it work. And I agree with what Chris said. If there's one time stuff, you know, one of the things we've been talking a lot about is trying to get things like copy machines and fax machines and all that on a global contract. Uh, because there's savings to be had on a global contract. Well, it's, it's the same advantage that we have when we combine monies and, and yep. interest bearing. It's no brainer. I got some ideas. Thank you, Greg. We, one, one other thing we'd like to talk about briefly. Yeah. John, Sir. lease, lease. Oh. Uh, do you want? I don't know if I should pass these out, but the <laughs> thing that we, we looked at. Well, because I have we a can three, redact the sheets. There's there's three uh, three points that I was going to bring up about the. Uh, Fleet management, but I'll just talk about leases right now. Whenever we were in our last commission meeting, uh, I was sitting here looking at the rotation. I was telling you about the 20 percent uh, industrial or industry uh, rotation of equipment, and I was sitting here looking at these, and I'm wondering how we could reduce more of the rotation so we wouldn't have to worry about it. Well, then the leasing came up, and to be quite honest, I was I was pretty ignorant of uh, leasing and, and what all it entails. So I went and, and talked to some people. Uh, and I think that we might be better off on some of the lower mileage, uh, some of the people doing the lower mileage stuff going to a lease program rather than buying outright uh, because it, it, it allows us to uh, have newer vehicles, no maintenance costs, and even with some of these lease programs right now, they even change oil, rotate tires for you. So uh, I think there's some benefits to it. I'm, we're supposed to be meeting with uh, Central Bank because Central Bank is the central uh, financial person for uh, the state of Missouri in contracting for leasing program. We're going to be meeting with them hopefully next week sometime to see how how uh, doable this is. And what it does is it allows instead of having those um, what is it one two three four five six seven it allows those eight special purpose vehicles we have that we take out of the rotation. It allows us to increase that to possibly uh, to uh, fifteen and possibly even to twenty if if we need to. So. And then it's, a, it's, a, it's an amount of money that we would pay every year off the top of our uh, fleet management monies. But in the long run, it will it'll reduce it down to 27 vehicles a year for rotation, which is about six cars a year, brand new. So in the long run, it's going to save us some money. But like the boss was saying a minute ago, with our fleet, if we're going to get our fleet up to par, if we're going to get them to where we're, our maintenance is down, like the ambulance district was able to do, uh, we're going to have to invest money in it. I mean, and it, and it may be that one-time cost that you were talking about, sure. Chris. Yeah. And, so, and we're willing. I mean, let me talk about vehicles real quick here. Sure. I'm willing to engage in one-time capital improvement work to try to get the program working. Mm -hmm. I think we would all be one time. But but it really would. I mean, it it almost has to be a written agreement. This is a one-time only deal. As opposed to, well, next year we're going to come back and do it again. I mean, I can play with the numbers on this spreadsheet. If I take the 193.5 and I move it into next year and put zero into this year, I mean, it's a big savings down the line. One dollar this year is ten dollars at the end of the equation. I mean, that's that's basically what it changes. You save a dollar today, you save ten dollars. At the end, it fixes the budget by ten dollars. What we will, what we will promise you on this is we, we will again present with the with the lease option a concise fleet management program that carries us forward. And that's based on an ad infinitum, not counting personnel changes. But, uh, and that, that's another thing. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's anything we can look at, I'm, I'm open to, to discussing it. Amen. And, uh, um, you know, my only concern on the lease and just kind of throwing this out would be if, if that vehicle got wrecked, uh, you know, would they, I mean, I don't know how all that works, well, we, we, and so uh, uh, yeah, just a lot, little more information about that. I didn't know either, I, but I didn't know that. Uh, uh, so, you really need to look at the vehicles that have the higher resale value, mm -hmm. because the ones with the higher resale value are the, is going to be the cheaper mm -hmm. lease payments. Mm -hmm. So the, that's what we need to look at. The other thing that's going to save us a great deal of money is we don't have to pay taxes. So by by being uh, tax free on that, it also reduces it down. So we're looking at. Uh, right now, and this is just me going and talking to one guy, uh, we're looking at a $6,000 a year for a vehicle, right? So for uh, uh, six vehicles uh, to lease in a one year's period is $36,000. Well, that's the price we're paying for sure. one vehicle. Right. So if we can get six brand new vehicles for that same cost, it makes sure. sense to us. It, now, it, and that's, but that's, it has to be less than 15,000 miles a year. 
which the patrol division would not go because yeah. they average. You know, it's they probably average. civil can't do that either, can you? Uh, it, it's iffy on on civil. I think that uh, we, I'd have to look at civil a little bit more. Jail, jail could not. Could not. Not for our transport. Not the transport vehicles. Victor's vehicle is already counted in on the on the lease and portion. Of, and You're pro- okay, yeah. We're, we're but but the, the van vans. couldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it Plus, would, it probably wouldn't make sense anyway because it's a pretty unique type of vehicle. That was that's just transferring equipment to sell and all that stuff is huge. Okay. And there's a lot of wear and tear on that. On that whenever I think, you put that all that. I think there's there. lots of ground to work together. Oh yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Like I said yesterday, and I said again today, we're not that far apart on making this thing work. Mm-hmm. We're actually, I feel a lot more optimistic. Mm-hmm. After yesterday playing with mm-hmm. the numbers than I did a week ago playing with the numbers, um, we're going to have by next week we will know the actual sales tax for this year. Cool. Which you know the one line on there I don't know what cell it is uh, right N sixteen bingo N sixteen is that'll be a hard number then. So, I mean, it makes a big difference knowing what that hard number is. We can save some money if you just get hill that moped, too. We've been talking about this. For... <laughs> that moped is not going to hold too much. We'll get you some coveralls for the cold, well, cold day. I want to see him on a Segway. Gary will be on the Segway. John will be on the smart car. <laughs> oh, hey, I like it. There you it. go. Yeah, I kind of like hey, this. Oh, yeah. Smart car. They get how many How many miles a gallon they get? 60? Maybe Civil could use some of those. Smart cars. Let's get some electric ones for Civil. Help <laughs> Big all over. You make it it down to the end of the county and go, can somebody charge my car? The Israelis work that one out. It's battery exchanges. John, check that lease thing out a lot. I'm not a big fan of leases. I'm willing to look at everything. I I wasn't either until I went and talked to this, and this was just working with one local company. So, I I mean, we'd have to bid it out. I'm open-minded about it. I I think we'd have to bid it out, and I think that I I really do, after listening to them, after talking to them, I really do feel a lot better about doing the lease thing than anything else. John Day Dawson sign language, you hold your hand in front of your mouth, that means you're probably lying. What's going on here? <laughs> it's not lie, it's disgust because I was looking at you, but I look over here now, see my hand goes down. <laughs> I'm sorry. You want to start talking body language? You want to know what you're doing right now? Yeah, that's right. Separating <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yourself away from us uh, and being doubtful of what we're going to say. Go ahead. <laughs> no, actually, this is probably the most uh, relaxed budget talks we've had with y'all. Well, I'm not going to say I, uh, well, we have the best commission we've ever had. It's just been a good year. I'm just telling you, it's the best commission we've ever had. We don't, we're not having, we don't have our defense. You guys up. have been here before, so he must be talking about me. Exactly. <laughs> 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 that backfired. <laughs> that backfired. Sorry, Mark. I think you For the record, <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, All right. We have anything else? Well, I did ask Donna to stop by since we were having budget discussions. Okay. Hey, let us know if you need anything. To okay. give her report uh, on. I'll be over there. Thanks, Mr. Hill. Uh, thanks, thanks, Gary. Yeah, thanks, Gary. Are we going to. You're welcome. Are you going to say anything about easy pay before I walk out? I sent you an email. Did you get it? I did. Okay. Well, I just have the meeting scheduled for next week. Yeah, I'm going to read accepted this. the meeting. Thank you. I read yeah. part of it. Thank you. He's complaining about food. Tell him not to go to jail. Anymore. Well, I was, I was talking to Greg about this. I don't know if he's right. complaining about jail, his okay. clothes are not getting washed, and stuff like that. I said, finally, jail's not the place to be. Early. So, I don't, I'm not inclined to even uh, reply to it. I haven't gotten through it all, but I mean, it just looked like, you know, if, uh, if you don't, if you like eating more than what jail food is, and don't get thrown in jail. So we got yours on the agenda today. Oh, that's right. We talked about that yesterday. Then this other one from this other gal. I haven't got to that yet. Um, well, you must have a lot of time to read stuff. Social services. I mean, who would we give this to to have them look at? I mean, it's a. There's no name on it, and I know Mark. You're you tend to throw them away. I, if I will no. not. Re- if it didn't have a name on it. It better be a legend, something that I can verify in 30 seconds, or I'm not interested in looking at it. Hey, is that, uh, is that hot in here, or is it just me? It's, it's warm, warm in, here. in here. I turned that damn thing down yesterday. Did it, you? They may have flipped it to heat. It's been hot. I just turned it off. They may have flipped Too it much hot, hot air in here. Oh, it was up on like 75. <laughs> I turned it down some more because it is. It was warm. 
So, but I mean, I'm not inclined to just throw this away because it's got kids involved. Yeah. So I don't know, do we send that to like social services? I mean, there's nothing we can do with it. Are we mandatory reporters? We sent one to the sheriff if you talked about one. Are we mandatory reporters? I don't know, but Jill said we sent this. If we're mandatory reporters, I don't know if we are or not. Are you guys mandatory reporters? I don't know. I don't even know what that means. Under the child abuse statutes, child abuse neglect statutes. I, whether I am or not, I'm going to pass it on just because if it I is, mean, if there's an ounce of truth to it, if I don't do something and something happens to them and they're grading the paper, I would I would feel pretty bad about uh, it. Now, if you're a mandatory yet. reporter, you're required to. Wouldn't that send it be to social services? Prosecutors or something? I think you have to social, social services. services. I'll just forward Good social job. services and tell them they can look on behalf of all, on behalf of everybody we received a copy of it and it's been referred I think so, so I would have Jill yeah I have Jill do it and yeah. send it that okay. way we cover I don't think we're mandatory reporters but I don't want to find out the hard way all right go ahead Donnell I'm sorry that's okay um before I get um before you have a a spreadsheet that shows the scanning what we've been working on for the last year and what still needs to be done. Um, let's just start with what's out in storage. We've got 1,600 boxes in off-site storage. Um, some of them don't even fit on the shelves that we have allotted to us. Um, what? Where are we talking about? Off-site storage. Where's that on here? I'm missing it. Southridge? Yeah. You're it about says Southridge? 1,603 boxes, boxes okay. in off, um, off... Well, it should be off-site storage. Okay. Um, is that at Southridge mm -hmm. or that, uh, Shepherds? Yep. And you don't have enough shelving for We them? don't have enough shelving. Is that because you're only putting them one deep versus right. two deep? And right. And the bottom shelves. And... <laughs> 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 Sorry. Right, right. Yeah, those... I've been out there. I've done it. I can tell you that it is not an easy feat to move three boxes out of the way to get to the fourth one when you've got stuff. approximately about 70 cases how many in boxes box. are not on shelves um that's a good point i think there's probably a, around I, I i don't know i couldn't tell you not a thousand so that we're talking not on shelves no not a thousand so i'm saying a less than that i'm going to say maybe a couple, a couple hundred. hundred and don't we have i mean aren't there I mean, I was out there, I don't know, a month well, ago or whatever. Aren't there a bunch of shelves that people aren't using that are assigned to other offices? Yes. There are cages out there that are not filled, but those departments do have stuff somewhere that they should be filling them with. Right. And a lot of them just didn't want to transfer them into the smaller boxes. 2,000. Because they're in big boxes. Oh, and I, I should have put on this. What's out there in off-site storage is 2003 to 2010. Cases? Um, those are the years. Okay. Um, we have 36 boxes that are ready to go to microfilm. That is 2003, um, 2002, um, further back in the past. Where are they? So at? they're out at off-site storage. We want to, that's going to cost us approximately $18,000 to microfilm those 36 cases, or, you know, those 36 boxes. We had funding from the state, and we could not, that we had it, we got approved in August, so we had September and October to get all the boxes together. Basically, we didn't meet the requirements to get it done before October the 31st to be able to send it off for the state to pay, so now the state has taken that money back. And now we have all these boxes ready to go, but no funding to get them microfilmed. And these are all cases that the previous years, their permanent records, and the previous, uh, th those range of um, years in have already been microfilmed. So if we're talking 36 boxes that need to be microfilmed to stay consistent with the uh, retention schedule that we already have in place. So that's $18,000. Um, I'm hoping to get that back, but I'm not sure. Now, if the uh, microfilm costs approximately $500 per box to microfilm, and we're looking at just the cases in off-site storage, we're talking over $800,000 to get those microfilmed. $500 a box to microfilm. Uh -huh. That's what that 18 by 36 was. Mm -hmm. And that's seven years worth of, eight years worth of cases. Mm -hmm. Is what 1600 is. Right, and right? we can't. 
So it's like, roughly 200 boxes a year. Well, ballpark. yeah, because we're, we're, you're looking at, however, we're getting about, if they're thinner cases, you can get about between 60 to 70 cases in a box. So that's a lot. We still have apparently some traffic up in the attic from 2001 to 2009. Now those, we would never want to send those out to storage. We would want to wait for the retention schedule to finish. What's the retention schedule on traffic tickets? Should be five years. So we can get rid of a lot of the traffic. So every traffic case from 2008 and back, we can destroy. Mm -hmm. We and have we to should. offer them to straight archives, but we could, yeah. So that's a project that needs to be done. Um, the criminal ones, however, these are felonies. Mm -hmm. So um, that's a lot of stuff that will have to be a permanent record. But now starting next year in April, we'll no longer have any of these files. Oh, we still have the files. I mean, I'm, what are we gonna do with them? No, no, I'm, I'm talking about more files. Right. Starting April 20th, whenever when we go live on the e-file system, Any you will no longer have to deal with paper going forward. Correct. Only backwards. Right. So the number that we're at is going to continue to grow until April, and it's going to stop. Well, and we're gonna be done. as soon as we, when pretty much all of the 2013 active cases have been scanned on. Okay. Um, so as soon as we get the local court rule changed, we can destroy any of those too. When's that going to be? So I'm, I'm hoping that it'll get done in December. When's their in-bank meeting? Uh, they don't have one scheduled. What are we looking at? Total cost and what's your, what's your plan here? Well, total cost, I mean, we'd have to go through, I, I would say, just to be able to keep a permanent record and not move forward in scanning. It's going to cost about eight hundred thousand dollars total over a lifetime. Approximately, yeah. And then what um, about document destruction? What? Are we going to have to pay for document no, that's destruction? No, that's included with we have the a price. Big fire on Fourth of July. Okay. <laughs> and then so actually take. And then once that you're that done with us. that, then you won't have any offsite storage. Correct. We won't. You yeah, have to keep if we some microfilm it, if we microfilm it, then I we can keep it. I thought you still had to keep it permanently. Yeah, Similar. but we can keep that on site because it's on microfilm. Site where? You can keep microfilm. You don't have to keep paper. Uh huh. If you microfilm it, you can destroy you the file. You can destroy the, the file. But if you scan it, you can't destroy the files. Not yet. <laughs> you know what? Scan it and throw them away and let them sue us. Um. Because that law is antiquated. Oh, no, the scanning because is fine. We, it'll, it'll happen before too long. It's just the fact that how long the time takes in regards to just oh, scanning the material. Now, I can also send it out to scan. I can have the company scan it, too. But it's still going to cost, the, I mean, it's not going to cost the same amount as microfilm. I can send them out to have them scan them. But it's still going to be quite a bit of cost, and I haven't figured that in. Um, I'm Right now, I'm trying to work on getting pending cases scanned on, and as you can see, um, in the spreadsheet, there's 7,023 cases that are total um, pending cases that need to be that need to be scanned, and we have already scanned at least 742 of those, which remain approximately 6,000 cases that still need to be scanned before we can go live on eBench. I'm gonna be, I, I just I don't know, I'm gonna be very challenged to spend anything on microfilming. I just think microfilming is so antiquated. And why are we still doing it? Because the law says you have to screw it. Well, uh, I, I get. Know, I, I know. I'm, 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 and well, once I'm we done. have the once pitching. we have the uh, the court um, local court rule that says that we can accept the uh, scanning as the record, that's fine. Then we can destroy any of those. It's and you got to think they've they've done it now. The law right. is twenty five years out. There. 25 years out, if we if they haven't come up with a better way than microfilming to keep a permanent record, we'll have to print every record and microfilm it. So, why would you have to microfilm? Print it off of because a scan? the law no, states I, that the permanent record is only microfilmed. And so, if we... What are they going to do, sue us because we scanned it instead of microfilmed it? You're telling me that it's safer scanned somewhere where it can burn up, be whisked away in a tornado, than to sitting in a space in a box that nobody can really touch. 
I'm not. Ar- no, just go. Ahead, don't know. Just, I've been arguing this for five I, years I don't now. know what to do. I mean, I don't know. I'm just following just what it. the rules are. Let them sue us. Okay. Scanning, I want to do the scanning, and hopefully within the next five years, they'll have a permanent solution in regards to a permanent record other than microfilming. I won't be around. I don't think any one of us will probably be here in that amount of time. I might be an old contenders by then. Five years or 20? 25 years. Oh, you said five years. I ain't that old. <laughs> Neither are these guys. Hell, we might all three still be up here. Mark says he's leaving, but we're going to Basically, at this point, uh, I just need what I'm asking for. If we can't do the microfilm or the scanning project in a large sum um, to get that at least scanned in and destroyed, I need a part-time person to continue scanning cases um, especially for the open or especially for e-filing that's coming up. And, and you have a part-time person last year doing it? Mm-hmm. And they scan 1,227 boxes? No. 1,227 cases. <laughs> yeah, boxes scanned. would be too nice. <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh, That is, would be that impossible. You, it takes a long time to scan, regardless of whether you're putting it under one quote or multiples. doesn't really matter. So how long does it take for them to scan a it case? Depends, it, depend, it depends on the case. In one month, we had 300 cases scanned. In the next month, we had 98 cases scanned. just depends on the case. And are they working how much? They're working 23 hours. I think that's what's been approved, right? Now, we didn't even go through all of that budget because we got started late last year. I don't think we even started um, the part-time person until, what, February or March? February. Yeah. It looks like we budgeted 13728 They've since, at the end of November, spent 9300 And, again, Jim did take it out of the budget for next year because when we got into this, it was going to be a one-year project. But uh, all right. I, I understand where you're at. Thank you. I think we have to talk to the court in bank before we can do anything. Talk to okay. The court in bank. And I've already sent Pat an email asking her to... She's Let me know when the next one is and that I'd like to attend. Because I think we have to, they have to get this local rule done. And I know that John's working on it. We have to get that it. local rule done. Well, it has to be done before we can go on any filing regardless. Yeah. And we also have to get the state to agree to allow us to shred and, st- and keep it in scanned records. Oh, we can. And that's not an issue. They're, they allow no. it. But as far as a permanent record goes, um, you can keep a scanned and copy up for 25 for years. In 25 years from last year, if you if they do not have a new operating rule in place, you will have to print all those documents and microfilm them. That's not 25 worried. years I'm from now. I'm not worried about 25 years from Either now. am I. So we can scan those. That's scan not going to be any issue. So the second issue. your people, they scan 742 cases, those files have now been destroyed. As soon as we can get the court operating, That's the local rule. we got to yes. get the local rule. Okay. Yes. Because I've got the... Um, so you're saying let's not scan anymore until we know we're going to be able to destroy them boxes. I, I can't... we got to move forward on scanning because I've no, got... We've got to have because, the local rule before we can justify spending any more money on That's scanning. what I was making sure you were getting at. Okay. Because I'm all Because if scanning. they're not going to pass the local rule... It, it the has purpose? to be passed because okay. we can't even go on e If they don't pass the local rule... It doesn't help us any. But they have to. Okay. For us to go on e-filing, it has to be a local rule, I period. I understand that, but they haven't done that yet. And they, and they will. I know it will be done. <laughs> I know it will be. That will be done. That, it has to okay. be. It can't happen prior. without it. Hey, i got to get going here in five minutes. Okay. Um, so I have one quick issue. Uh-huh. we got an estimate of $2,500 to do the remediation in the basement. Mm-hmm. I thought, we said I thought we'd already approved with, that. I did, too. You guys asked Greg to make sure that there was not going to be any underlining expenses, any problems. So we're good. It's got a not to exceed 2500 Can we go? Yes. Go? Yes. Go? Yes. Go. Yes. go. Yes. Thank you. I did send that to Jill. I think she could look it over, but it has not I thought there was yeses already, already said to get on with it. Because I know you have a lot of I don't know about that. I'm not checking my records. So that you grab it and discuss it with Pat next week. I would entertain a motion to approve the proposal from ARSI for not to exceed the amount of $2,500. So moved. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries.
There you go. Now it's in the minutes. Maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got. Like I said, I got to get going. So, we got anything else, Debbie? That's information that you wanted on the law library. Oh, law library. Okay. Are we? Woo! Big money. Well, Are we done spent then? Really quick. You could do. You could spend this for the scanning. <laughs> and then we'd have nothing to buy computers with, or um, change of uh, change of bench configuration. Like I said, you could pay for all scanning. <laughs> Do you want to talk to her about the computers? It's going to cost eighteen thousand dollars go. just to replace nineteen workstations. Well, you got one hundred twenty-one thousand dollars in cash. And we have to do benches. You don't have to do benches. People want benches. Okay. Have we to. We don't have enough room to accommodate the equipment that's going to be needed to run the e-file. Well, then so I guess those you all can't do it. Are have Get. To be changed. So this is this is just computer expenditures that will come that I'm asking for you all to um, to offsite five thousand dollars for. So you're asking for only five thousand dollars. Before you do That's benches, you need to come building. and ask us. So yeah, we're going to modify call, just, our building. Yeah, just recognize that modifying building space, we are the landlord. Well, that should fall under court services budget, not really mine. Well, you know what that. What I need it, is I need computers. <laughs> My advice to you, and I'm going to give you the free, gratuitous advice, so therefore take it for what it's worth. Okay. Stay out of the court stuff. I need computers. That's fine. That's your side. <laughs> That's what I got. Don't even talk about anything that has to do with the court stuff. Because all you'll do is get the circle going where... Yeah. And you, and that's a circle you lose in every so time. So I don't have a lot of control over the law library. I can buy computer equipment and... Um, Workstation, monitor, scanner, and printers. Well, printers, I'm not sure. Scanners, we're, we've already purchased most of them. You can see that they're $997 a piece. So we're looking at $18,000 just on workstation and monitors just to complete. We, we had 10 already replaced from the state. I need an additional 19. Okay. Okay. And you want $5,000 for that? And I'm asking for $5,000. That's a lot better than that 18 you had, Debbie. <laughs> well, that's what I see here too. Is eighteen, fourteen grand for the workstations and four grand for the monitor. I have to scoot, guys. I apologize. Right. See you, Mark. See you. See y'all. See you at eleven thirty. Tell me you gotta get I'll to. Be, it. I doubt I'll make it by eleven thirty. If I'm not uh, there by twelve, just tell me to go without me. Oh, uh, we're gonna start without you. We're not waiting. Good. <laughs> I'm not there by. Tw if I'm not there by twelve, it means my quarter is going up. We'll let him know. It just means I may not come. We'll let you. We'll let him know that you wanted to come. Thank you. Thanks, Don Al. Thanks, Don Al. Sorry I got to uh, preaching at you, but that drives me nuts. Hey, I've done it every year for about four years in a row. I'm not stopping now until they change some crap. This, it's just stupid. Yeah, I can't. I, can. I know, but <laughs> you know what? Challenge the statute. We can. Who's going to sue us? Nobody's going to say anything because it's not for Exactly. Years. I'm not going to be worried Scan. about it. It's the person has to deal with it 25 years from now. Well, you got to deal with it 25 years. They'll be putting it on something else. That's what we hope. That's why we get rid of microfilm. Quit microfilm. The microfilm is stupid. It's perfectly fine. I can come back with it just a... Okay, scan it. Good. We're done. I, I will. <laughs> if you scan and destroy the record and we with get rid of that storage... Huh? With what resources? <laughs> Can I get I'm saying I will give you resources to do that because I okay. I'm introduced more earlier. from this paperless thing okay. from the okay. bonding. Then I'm going to come back with <laughs> it instead of the microfilm, just scanning. I will be on your side for scanning. Just scanning of the record, and that's it. And destroying the destroying files. Destroying the court files. Yeah, because that was a problem before. Is no, you have to microfilm it because that's what the statute says. I I don't care. Sue me. Can, hey, we can we can we go out of session? Yeah. Motion to go into recess until four thirty. Second. No, Mark I leave. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Okay. Okay. There you go. Sorry. I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. I don't think it was catching you. These mics catch us though. I'm sure somebody. Oh, especially Mark. Oh, 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 that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see? Oh, my God. Oh. What are we going to do? We're going to get some big old furry beards. I got some coming. You want me to sigh or Willie? 
Which one do you think I should be? <laughs> <laughs>